Today we're doing a full body pregnancy mini band or resistance band workout. If you don't have a mini band, you can still do the workout. You'll still get a great workout. You can just make the movements a little bit larger. Or if you're following along with the January challenge, you don't have a mini band, I'll link to another video that you could do instead right there. We'll start with the warm up and then we can put our mini band around our ankles. Let's start with feet wide, lunging side to side. Good. Step our feet together. Let's circle our right leg. Exhale, pull your baby in as you circle. Good, now let's circle that ankle. Going the other way. Good, moving to our left leg. Exhale as you lift. Good, exhale, ankle circles. Going the other way. Good, placing that leg down. Let's circle our elbows nice and big. Going the other way. Good. I'll set the timer now for 30 seconds of a move and we'll have 10 seconds to set up between. Let's place the mini band around our ankles. I'm gonna start at one side of the mat. We're gonna do some lateral walks, slight bend in your knee. Sitting it back in our hips as we squat down, and then we'll step out and squat again. You can turn to your right now, and we'll kick our left leg back, pulling in your baby. Setting up on the other side.
This time we'll squat down and abductor kick out, alternating sides. We can come up to one side. When we get to the end, we're gonna come up on our toes. Reach. Come down a little lower. Let's turn our legs out. We'll come up onto our toes. Squeezing your thighs and calves. One more. We can come to the back of our mat. Feet are gonna stay nice and wide. We're gonna walk forwards and back. Be lots of length in your lower back, not rounding out. Amazing, we can take our band off. Let's shake it out we can stretch our quad. Other side. Release, let's grab a quick sip of water. Now we can take our band and place it underneath both feet. We're gonna lift our right knee up as we exhale. Pull your baby in. You can take a breath here. Shifting our weight into our right foot now. We're gonna lift our left knee. Exhale, hugging your baby in.
amazing. So we're gonna keep it around our right foot. We can turn it to the right, releasing our left foot out. We can bend down, picking up the band. We're going to single leg deadlift, or you can leave your foot on the ground as well. So wherever you are comfortable, Good, let's bring our left knee right down to the ground. We'll get ready to row. Hugging your baby in. Last one. Good, we can release our band again. Let's come to our knees. This time we're gonna pull down, releasing up. If you wanted to fold your mat up, you can if your knees are bothering you. Good. Let's pulse our arms out this time. Take it a breath. Pulsing up. Amazing, let's come up. You can turn it to your left. Let's place our band under our left foot this time, getting ready for our single leg deadlifts on this side. Again, feel free to leave your toe down here. Amazing, let's place that right knee on the ground. Setting up to row. Shoulders nice and roll down your back. Amazing, release from underneath your foot. We'll get ready for our pull downs again.
relax your arms. We'll do one more set of pulses and then we'll take another water break. Steady breaths. Amazing release, let's shake it out. We can grab a sip of water. Let's take the band around our ankles now. We can lower it down onto our left hand side, starting with our right leg. Let's extend our legs out. We can stack our hips and use your hand for balance here. Exhale, pulling your baby in. We're gonna lift 10 times. Lift and hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release down. Good. Let's take the band, move it up just above our knees. We're going to move into our clamshells here. So bent leg position here, stacking your hips, and we can open and close. And let's come up, let's do tiny pulses this time. Releasing down, good. Let's lengthen our bottom leg. We can put our front leg in front. We're not actually using the band for this one, but we also don't need to remove it. We're gonna work our adductors or our inner thigh, which is important for birth preparation. On an exhale, hug your baby in. Lift up, release down, good. Keep up high and let's pulse here. Releasing down, good. You can either roll over, I'm gonna switch to the other side. We can bring our band back down to our ankles. Stacking our hips, you can pull your baby in. Let's lift 10 times again. And on this last one, let's hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, releasing it down. Let's bring our band up. Getting ready for our clamshells.
holding here, pulsing. Amazing, release down. Let's get our top leg out of the way, getting ready for adductor lifts. Hold your leg up, pulsing. Amazing, releasing down, good. Let's come back up to a seated position. We can take our band off for now, but let's keep it close by for some of the stretches. We can move on to all fours. Let's round out, exhale, pulling your baby in. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, pressing your hands into the ground, feeling space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, tailbone and head tilts up. Good, let's come back to a neutral spine. We can take some hip circles here. Switch directions. Coming back through all fours, let's keep our hips high in the air, walking our hands forward for puppy pose. This is excellent for optimal fetal positioning. Armpits reach down towards the ground. Good, we can lift our head, walking our hands back in. We'll come up to a kneeling position. Let's tap one foot forward. We can move into a lunge. Let's rock back and forth here. And let's release into our lunge. So you can stay here in your lunge, option to come down, or you could place your hands on a couple of blocks. Or for a deeper stretch, you could grab your band, bending your back foot and add a quad stretch to your lunge here. Good, releasing your band. If you've got your back foot banded, Shift back, switching to the other side. Taking a few rocks here. This is also great to do during labor. Good, and you can find the lunge that you wanna stay in, either high, down on the ground, or option for quad stretch. Pressing into your front foot. Let's shift out. We can come down to a seated position. Bring your right foot out. And option to place the band around your foot. 
Let's find that length in our spine. Getting a gentle stretch, always making sure not to stretch too deeply during pregnancy. Good. Let's open up through our hips a little bit here. We can bend over to the side. Exhale, coming up. Let's switch sides. Grounding both sit bones to the floor. Open up to the side. Really rounding out through your side body, making room underneath your ribs. Exhale, coming up. We can come up to a kneeling position here. We can stretch through our triceps. So you can either stretch just pressing on your elbow or you can drop your band down behind you using your band to stretch. Releasing, switching to the other side. Releasing out. We can stretch through our shoulders here. Good, releasing down. You did an amazing job. I hope that you're feeling great after that workout. Let me know if you liked using the mini band or if there's any other equipment you'd like to see in videos. I also have a birth education playlist on how you can help prepare for your easier and less painful delivery. I'm gonna to link to the playlist right there.